all right so with message sending in place so two user can chat but now we need to show notification if user uh, is in uh, other tab or if the chat system is in background so we'll use this firebase cloud messaging so first we need to add the gcm sender id so in our uh, web app manifest we need to specify gcm sender id okay so we need to copy this attribute and add in our project so just go to a manifestation file and just add this so next we need to add firebase messaging service worker so first we need to create this file firebase messaging all right with uh, js file in place we need to import these okay so import all scripts and so we load and initialize the firebase cloud messaging sdk so next we need to get uh, uh, device tokens so this device token is what uh, firebase used to send notification to particular device or particular browser all right so when user signs in we call the save messaging device token function uh, that's where we'll get fcm device token from browser and save it to real-time database okay so save messaging device token function looks like this so we need to put that in our main.js main main.js so let's go to main.js and so here is the function save messaging device token so we'll replace with this content okay so getting token and using this current token to save it to this location okay and need to request permission to show notifications so if there is error it will tell us that so for this to work user need to do allow alright so when user has not granted permission to show notification you will not be able to give on device token in this case we'll call firebase messaging request permission method which will display a browser dialog asking for permission so update the request notification function with this so requesting notification permission and save messaging device token okay so this function will show the browser pop up and then call save messaging device token function which is this one okay so now we need to reload our app and it should ask us to allow okay let's go to our chat application and let's also open up console refresh okay so it asks us to show notification allow it requesting notification permission there we go so we got uh, this device token let's copy it all copy close it so what's the next uh, step send a no notification to your device now that we have device token you can send a notification you will need a firebase app server key to get it open your apps firebase okay and then copy the server key so if we uh, if we go to this location we should uh, we should get server key so these two keys are needed so one is device token that we just copied and another is server key so for now i will save my device token at this location so on not notepad here so if we go to project settings and under cloud cloud messaging tab yeah this is our server key so to send notification this should be on background like uh, for now we are active in this window all right so to receive a uh, notification we need to send post request to this url uh, let's do this 
so you can do using curl but I will do using postman so let's go to postman and we'll send our post request to this uh, URL FCM send this URL okay and we need to set headers uh, like content type application JSON and authorization equals to so you need to prefix it with key equals to, otherwise it won't work so key equals to your server key which of course you we get it from here if you go to project settings clouding message and then here server key yeah, you can add any number of server key if you want but uh, use any uh, any one from all these so this is server key and we need to send a request body like so so title of message body of message if any icon you want to show and click action if uh, we click on that where it should take us and two equals to fcm device token id that we just copied from uh, when we hit allow so this device token so this will uh, get printed on your console if you refresh the page and if you hit allow all right so uh, let's give it a try uh, make sure you minimize this yeah there we go so we got this uh, message so al also if you are uh, on windows uh, make sure you just turn off this focus assist so if it is on it uh, won't show message so just turn so depending upon your system just turn off any notification blocking settings and you should get the message so all we need to do is uh, just send the post request to this so we can do on our front end using any service like call uh, sorry axios and yeah we can also use clouding messaging cloud function yeah we'll see that in other video or you can follow documentation I'm also new to this so so in this documentation it is written that uh, to automate this service we can use this Firebase SDK for cloud functions